Representative Lundeen. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Um, this bill starts from a very healthy premise that parent engagement improves education. We all know that when parents are engaged in their children's lives, they do better in class and in society. But uh, there is not adequate data coming back from the pre-existing law that, in fact, this bill, this effort to interrupt the relationship between employees and their employer, in fact, is gaining any ground. Most businesses Excuse are Excuse me, in Representative fact, Lundeen. Members, can we have some uh, attention paid to the well, please? Thank you very much, Madam Chair. So we, we don't see data that says that the existing program is the right thing to do, yet this bill would expand and extend, both in scope and in time frame, what is going on in an unproven program. So we are making something bigger and longer that has no real proof that it's doing what we need to do. Um, I would urge a no vote on this bill. Representative Fields. Thank you, um, Madam Chair. Members, House Bill 1221 is a very important bill that's designed to engage parents in their kids' school activity. This bill has been in, in effect for five years, and there is a sunset now on this bill. So if we let this bill sunset, we're interfering with the potential of having parents be engaged in their student activities. And I think that would be a horrible tragedy to take place. Basically, what this bill does, you heard that it expands. This is how it expands it. Right now in statute, a, a parent can take some time off dealing with disciplinary issues, truancy, um, special education, um, kinds of counseling, uh, dean visits and those kinds of things. What we want to do is we wanted to expand it to include positive engagement. So what this bill does now is that you can have time off to, to attend celebration ceremonies. Let's say your son or your daughter is getting a, uh, an award. This bill will allow you to take time off so you can be in the audience to witness and to observe your son or your daughter get some kind of recognition. It might be a grandparent as well. So when we talk about some, I think someone said that this was um, huge opposition from business. And what we heard in testimony is that 90% of businesses are already doing this. They're already providing flexibility. You also heard someone talk about there's, there's, it's unproven. That this, that, that this is working. But we have 30 years of evidence that demonstrates when you have parent engagement in a student's uh, activities at school, they're more apt to perform better in school. You can Google it. You can look it up. Everyone knows that if a parent is engaged in their student's activity, they're going to be more likely to succeed. They're more likely to graduate. So um, I'm not quite sure I really understand the resistance here. This is for those parents who may be earning low wages, and there's a sense of fear to ask for time off. And what this bill does, it validates the need for those, those parents to take some time off so they can support their kids' development and their academic performance. So I do encourage that you vote yes on House Bill 1221. Representative Lundeen. Thank you very much, Madam, Madam Chair. Uh, the, the, to, uh, let me speak to two of the issues raised, uh, but let's start from the basic premise. Do we like parents engaged in, in their children's education? Absolutely. But based on the, the previous comments and testimony we heard in committee, parents are already engaged. They have the opportunity. Businesses already acknowledge and realize that their best pathway to success in the future is to have good employees. And to have good employees, they need to provide benefits that give those employees to live the life that they want to live. And that's one that is engaged in their children. As to this question of expansion, there is a substantial expansion in this bill. As it exists currently, it's a K-12 situation. But with regard to what it will become, it will become something that reaches into preschool as well. So the, the pursuit of the ability to go to an academic achievement program or some sort of academic related program for your child in preschool is what we envision under the expansion of this bill. 
And as to the time frame, instead of taking a look at it now or sunsetting it three years from now, five years from now, so we can have a further conversation, this would extend it forever. I continue to urge your opposition to this.